are oh, here. Yes, why do we count you down to the weekend? Hey, look, if you're tired of getting this overactive allergies, asthma attacks, or any other symptoms, sinus problems, just from simply drinking milk, we're going to talk about some of the magnificent milk myths. And we're going to show you how you can actually still get your vitamin D. If you're worried about vitamin D, if you're worried about calcium, hey, we got the answers for you. And it takes out the middleman called the moo cow. With that being said, we're going to jump right in. But before we start our five minute story, got some questions, a question to ask you. What do Hulk Hogan, the wrestler, what do Ric Flair, the wrestler, what do, uh, what do Rick James, the musician, and what do, let's see, uh, uh, James Brown, the musician, what do some, what are some of the things that they've, and I won't say James Brown, let's say Ike Turner, what do they have in common? Hulk Hogan, the wrestler, Rick Flair, the wrestler, Rick James, the singer, and Ike Turner, the musician. So what do they have in common? And type those answers in the chat, if you will. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to start with the five minute story after we get some of the comments read from my chat. All right. Well, right now we do have TWP popcorn popping in, showing you all what to do, putting in hashtag the home team. If you're here with us, blind guys, wife, their life, you are part of the home team. So thank you for being here. Hashtag the home team. Our first place pony giveaway is coming up. If you're watching on the replay, you know what to do. Answer that question. What do those fighters have in common? Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Rick James, and Ike Turner. What do they have in common? All right, Danique Anthony, thank you for putting in hashtag the home team. Let's get into the five minute story time. All right. He once was a farmer or a rancher, I should say, who owned all sorts of cattle. And cattle, of course, is the middleman when it comes to dairy products. Now, the, the, the farmer was a little concerned because the milk production on his farm was beginning to decrease. And he decided it was imperative that he bring a new bloodline onto the farm. So that meant he had to buy a new bull. Now on this farm was already three bulls. And when they heard the farmer talking to his farm manager about getting a new bull onto the property, the first, the first bull said, I don't know about that one. It ain't but about 30 cows here. And out of those 30 cows, 15 of them belong to me. And I ain't about to share nothing with this new bull when he gets here. If he wants to share my cows, then he's going to be in a terrible state of affairs. The second bull said, yeah, I ain't been here but two and a half years myself. And I got about five cows, maybe 10 on a good day that even like me. But I agree with you. I ain't sharing not one cow with that new bull. The third cow said, well, I ain't been here. But, the third bull said, well, I ain't been here but about six months. And I only got three cows that even like me. He said, but I'll be darned if I'm going to share every one of those three cows with the new bull. We're going to make some trouble for him. Well, some weeks went by and then all of a sudden a long diesel truck came up, pulling behind it, a, uh, a livestock trailer, got in there. <laughs> Air let off the brakes and they let the gate down and into the bullpen raced the biggest, the hairiest, the largest humpback Brahma bull that was ever seen. This bull was so big that he could stand flat footed and look over the fence at the cows grazing in the grazing yard. But when the three bulls saw this new bull come onto the lots, he Pop, pawed the ground and uh, strutted around and showed off all his might. The first bull said, you know what? I've been doing a little thinking. And I decided it was a little ugly of me to say I wasn't going to be share, share with this new bull and be fair. I think I'm, I got to change the heart and I'm going to go ahead and share with this new bull. Now, the second bull said, you know what? I, I kind of agree with you because uh, it's kind of not being na neighborly when you don't share with somebody when they first come into your life. Well, when the third bull saw that big, over 2,000 pound bull strutting his stuff across that bullpen, he bust out of his stall and he pawed the ground and, and shook his horns and pawed. And, and the other two bulls said, hey man, what are you doing? Wait a minute, you see how big that thing is? Man, you come out there challenging him, he's gonna kill you. The new bulls, the other bull said, no, nah, I'm not challenging that new bull. Just by the looks of him, I want to know that for sure that he understands that I'm a bull too. <laughs> and that was the end of that. So since we're talking about the magnificent milk myth and throwing a flag on the play on against the NFL for some of the up the some of the articles they're releasing, we actually want to tell that story about cattle as we talk about what you can do 
to get vitamin D and to get calcium without getting those negative side effects, the allergies, the allergy symptoms, the sinuses, the asthma aggravation. And of course, we know the BGs, the bubble guts, run into the bathroom just by eating dairy. We're gonna, and you can still, we're gonna just give you some alternatives so you can still get your vitamin D and get your calcium into your body. Thank you, Mary Ma. They pulled you for liking and sharing. Of course, Cole Waltz, we welcome you. And she stole my thunder. She loves my facial expressions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning to Ruby Grandison, who has done what you all should be doing right now. Put in hashtag the home team because we have first place pony coming up soon and very soon. And don't forget to answer the question, what do the wrestlers, Rick, James, Rick, Rick Flair and Hulk Hogan, and the musicians, Rick James and Ike Turner, have in common with each other? All right. What do they have in common? Put that in the chat, please. And if you're like Mary Madi Poju, she's Nigerian. Oh, let me tell you, the Nigerians know about money. So not only is she telling you all to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, not only is she telling you all that she has already liked and shared this, but she is reminding you all to please like and share also because sharing is caring. That's why she always shares the information on grants, how to make money. And y'all know Miriam's launching 24, no, 12 new businesses. Let me know, Miriam, because I'm just like doubling the number of businesses. I know that you have several businesses launching soon. So I know David Hunt has put in hashtag the home team. Thank you so much. We do not hate okra. We are okra friends. So is Miriam. You know us Nigerians. I'm Nigerian since Miriam's Nigerian. I'm Nigerian today. I know you're Trinidadian, David, but it's five businesses that Miriam is launching. See, I made it 12. I made it 24. But the whole point is that Miriam is... Uh, launching all of these business and it's the pop to the power of okra. She says, amen to 24. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and answer that question for you. Rick James, Rick Flair, Hulk Hogan and Ike Turner all were unfortunately or are, are still alive, but some of them still are still alive, but all have unfortunately had their battles with cocaine. But despite that. Oh, I thought you were going to say with milk, because but, of course we're talking about milk myths so i thought there was going to be a correlation it's going to be a correlation now it's going to, we're going to take a swing at milk it. and cocaine are correlated yeah they're both white but we're going to go through that in a minute but yes again those those are but they weren't just uh they weren't just performers of wrestlers and musicians oh, and singers david they Hunt all, was saying they all hated oprah not us but you know yeah. all of those folks uh that you mentioned no they, i don't know if they hated oprah or not but the idea is they were very talented at the top of their craft the profession rick jane rick, rick flair and hulk hogan both were champ world championship wrestlers rick james hit hit sing hit maker as a singer ike turner we all know the ike and tina story they made hit after hit after hit after hit but all of them had used some kind of drug mm -hmm. to fuel their creativity so with that being said if you have a child that's musically talented or athletically talented and would you and you would hold up and they say you know i want to be just like hulk hogan they uh -huh. said these days oh, i want to be like rick flair or i want to make music like these popular people and would you tell them to do the same thing and use the same creative or the same athletic uh fuel with which was for them often the drugs, I don't think you would. So why is the NFL these days partnering up with the Dairy Association to tell kids that they need to drink milk for breakfast? In a recent article, and Laquita Marie, you can pull that article up. All right. In a recent article on my favorite team, the Washington Commanders website, they had a uh, they re released the article that's talked about how for March being National Nutrition Month and then the first part of March. I didn't know it was National Nutrition Month. The first part of month March was actually they had uh, National School Breakfast Week. They partnered with the Dairy Association, the American Dairy Association of the Association of the Northeast, and they launched launched a campaign to get the players to promote. Guess what? If it's the American Dairy Association eating and drinking dairy products ah. now when it comes to eating and drinking dairy products they say it's for the vitamin d for the strong bones that the calcium offer and also they these athletes Thank hail, you, Trish. hail the milk and products as a way to fuel their body to get them top notch performances but there are some issues that come along with that and we'll discuss this a little later on as we talk about why the nfl should get a personal a personal foul penalty for this one because they're promoting this to children. Now, Laquita, you have a popular saying, when I don't do something I'm supposed to do dietary-wise, or you like, if I'm smoking my cigar or I'm drinking, you'll say, well, you're already halfway done, right? Thank you, Mary Ma. Coach Mary Ma for putting in hashtag the home team. She's saying happy Friday. And what I usually say is that 
I'm not calling you old, Coach Mary. I'm just saying we're older. So folks like us, what I usually say is, yeah, we're halfway done anyway. It's like we're closer to the end than we are to the beginning. So yeah, you're all you're halfway done. So you, so that's being halfway done. But what you also say is the second half of that is, well, we got to look out for who? The children, the people coming up behind us. The people coming up behind us, the children. They are the ones that are being targeted <laughs> by these particular campaigns. Coach Mary Ma said, always a pleasure to be here. Y'all know Coach Mary is from Cameroon. So yes, it's solidified with her and Miriam Adepoju here. I am officially African, specifically Nigerian today. You had to wait for them to show up to be African? I mean, I was all ready, but I had to, I could declare it out loud now <laughs> that I had my people in the room. So yeah. Well, we got Danique and Danique is here, right? And, Danique Anthony and David, and David Hunt. Danique Anthony is Jamaican, and he has put in hashtag the home team. David Hunt is Trinidadian, and uh, he has also put in hashtag the home team. Whereas she stole my thunder, is hanging out in Canada, but I mentioned her because she has put in hashtag the home team. I think she put it in already. Go ahead, Corey. So again, they're targeting the children with this National Nutrition Month and National School Breakfast Week that they were having. And the athletes, you can't hold the athletes uh, too uh, hardcore accessible, uh, accountable for this because they're doing what they think is that they know to do best. Because for all of our life, we've been told milk does a body good, got milk, sports and milk mustache. All those ads have been geared towards us for a long time. But school lunch is one of the, school lunch and school breakfast is one of the biggest areas where the dairy industry has influence and in getting milk into the diets of children. Mm. But there are physicians like the Dr. Neil Barnard, Barnard of the uh, Physicians Committee uh, for Responsible Medicine, Dr. Milton Mills, Dr. Baxter Montgomery, Dr. James Loomis, who we're going to hear from in a minute, and even Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken. All these gentlemen have all said that we don't need milk to get the vitamin D and the calcium to have the strong bones to be the athletes that people are saying they are in these ads. So I do have a question for you all. Of course, uh, we're talking about different you know, milks. What milk do you drink? Specifically, we do drink almond milk. We drank, uh, actually, when I weaned my first daughter and second and third, from breast milk, we weaned them onto soy milk. Uh, I know that Aris, Dr. Aris Latam, uh, he and Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken, they also promote coconut milk. Uh, they say that is one of, the, I know coconut milk specifically, Yaki Awaken, he definitely says that that one has a lot of uh, natural properties so that if you're making your own formula and you can't nurse your baby, he has a formula for you. Health is Wealth, that particular channel, uh, she has a baby formula milk, uh, a, a baby formula, I should say, in, you know, in place of mother's milk that has been taken down several times. And she also uses coconut milk. Um, the whole question is, what milk are you using? Because the specific milk that we're talking about today is mm -hmm. cow's milk. Mm -hmm. We're talking about cow's milk. Now, so. I do have a quick video to show you all. Uh, we could not show you all the one in the link. Please watch the article yourself. Uh, look at the video yourself. It's, it doesn't kind of align with what we're promoting because Miss Trish is, is drinking oat milk. In that video that we were going to show you, they were talking about like, hey, just eat the cow's milk. It's so good. Whereas there are a lot of allergens uh, like dairy milk from cows it increases allergic responses. And this is medically, this is not medical go advice. advice. Go get advice from your own doctor. But again, this you guys... is medical science. It's proven, you can research it. And that's what we're about to show you now. Cause Indiana Backyard Gardener is here saying, hey, hey, she's doing the right thing, y'all. She's sowing her seeds, putting all the seeds in the ground. Hopefully Zeke, her dog won't dig them up. But the whole point is she's out there growing and sowing, y'all do your thing. What milk are you drinking, Indiana Backyard Gardener? Because Ruby Grandison is drinking almond milk. We do drink almond milk. We don't drink a lot of cashew milk. Uh, I think mainly almond milk um, and oat milk sometimes for coffee. It has sometimes a thicker mouthfeel. Um, hemp milk for coffee also. Mm -hmm. I don't particularly care for the flavor of hemp milk, but I do have a quick video to show you all that I can share. And this is a one minute video from Switch for good. So if you can see this, I am going to unmute it. No, you know what? I'll keep it muted because it does have music and it's mainly pictures. I'll just read as the 
pictures go by, okay? And again, we're talking about why the NFL gets a flag on the play for interference because they are actually- They're not promoting for... Indiana Gardner's oat milk, <clears throat> are they? No, they're not promoting oat milk, almond milk, or soy milk. They're actually teaming up with the American Dairy Association of the Northeast to promote drinking cow's milk and eating cheese, yogurt, butter, as a way to get vitamin D and calcium into your body. But they're not also, they're not revealing some of the things that the doctors we mentioned, Dr. Neil Barnard, Dr. Milton Mills, Dr. Baxter Montgomery, Master Herbal Jackie Awaken, and Aris Latan, how all these people have revealed that this is not necessary. Cow's milk is not necessary to get vitamin D or calcium. We're not trying to change your mind, but we're trying to help you not Just to have informing you. allergic reactions that increase asthma. And like I said, the BGs, you all have experienced these Bubble guts, before. BGs. Bubble guts. You might, never, you might not have known it was related to the dairy, but we're telling you because of medical research that we've done uh, from these doctors that and y'all the research is right here it's not hard you can just google it yeah. like we put it in on youtube and boom the it's milk is not there. a health food milk there, does not do the body good there's a big myth about about milk that's what the screen says they're so, pouring a glass of milk and then it goes into despite dairy marketing and subsidies milk is not a health food i think i might have this on 2x speed but drinking cow's milk is linked to cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis, and obesity, and heart disease. 65% uh, of the global population has dairy allergies, intolerances, and or sensitivities, including chronic stuffy nose, mucus buildup in lungs, bloating, constipation, stomach, and stomach cramping, and chronic migraines. And yet last year, 73% of us were, of U.S. dairy revenue came from cow's milk. In addition, the USDA spent over $125 million on domestic marketing, domestic marketing to sell the myth that cow's milk is a health food. But the athletes of Switch for Good are coming together to fight this myth. Siva Johnson. Uh, and then we have different athletes here saying uh, that they've switched. And you all can, I'll drop the link to this into the chat. So that way you can check that video out for yourselves on your own time. Because it's good information. Now, once again, not to sway anyone, but hey, if we've got fitness folks like the Jay Jordan here. The Jay Jordan in the house. Who always shares us out. Thank you. Thank you. You and Mary Amade Poju, we appreciate you both because you both uh, always uh, share, you know, like you say, it's free to share. Y'all, let me talk about, let me talk about the Jay Jordan real quick, though. I, I went to Jay Jordan for a consultation and ended up at the Trap House. When I tell y'all... Mm. I got trapped. So you in there with Rick James? Yes, Rick he gave Flag. me so information, so oh, much oh, information. Man. I could not leave. He trapped me because I thought I was consulting him. He gave me more information. I was like, wait a minute. So y'all, he trapped me. If you go to the J. Jordan, he has so much information for you, not just on fitness, but this guy is a technical guru as well. Uh, you know, he's almost as good as David Hunt. He's coming up. And look, David Hunt is saying, wait, what? This is not medical advice. Seek advice from your own doctor. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding about the trap house. Y'all know we love the Jay Jordan. We've got to get into our first place pony because we're we over our... halfway through the show. So put in hashtag the home team. And after we do our first place pony, we'll come back because you might be wondering, well, what in the world? What can I do to get my vitamin D? What Last your journey. How do you get your vitamin D? You are living it. You said, I got to make some money. I got to save some money. Then you said, oh, let me just become a, billion, a millionaire. Then you said, oh, I got to get my health right. I got to live longer. Then you became a health guru. We can trust you. You've been to a wellness center. You've done lots of research. You have made a whole bunch of change. You showed us your back. Girl, you have no back fat. Some of us can't say that. What milk are you drinking? Are you drinking any milk? Oat milk, almond milk? Coconut milk. Yeah. Milk. Any of those. Because, you know, she stole my thunder. It's saying hello to lashes. Everyone loves the millionaires. And Coach Mary Ma says, I'm good. Thanks. She's talking to the Jay Jordan and Lashes journey in the sun every day mm. now indiana backyard gardener is taking supplements we're going to get into that because uh being in the sun every day like lasher's journey will definitely benefit you so with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump into the first place pony so if you hashtag the home team you are in the run indiana backyard gardener has done that let's go ahead and run it then right or is so that what we're doing? That's what we're about to do. Okay. So I'm going to make the horse race announcement. And when I say bring, when I make the gate sound bring, you're going to say, and they're off and click the button. All right. All right. Let me just make sure everybody can see it. Cause some folks say I rig it and I don't. Uh, thank you so much, David Hunt, for putting in the Jay Jordan's channel. It's an amazing channel, y'all. You will end up at the trap house because you're going to be trapped with fitness. You're going to be trapped doing burpees. Uh, and he may give away some of his secrets. David Hunt, 
the J Jordan can use OBS and Streamlabs. Y'all, y'all are the smart people. I just stick with StreamYard. That's what we're powered by. Because StreamYard keeps it simple and that's all I can handle. So thank you for dropping his link. Are you ready? Oh yeah, let me go ahead and uh, pull it up so that way they know that I am not um and again, we're talking about the I'm magnificent, not rigging it. The magnificent milk milk myth. And we're talking about why the NFL got a flag on the play because they are because of promoting dairy, teaming up with the dairy association to promote dairy products to the children and their families to say that milk does the body good. It's actually good for them to enhance their athletic performance. But we're saying that there's other ways to get the vitamin D and the calcium that milk is famous for uh, being promoted as having, being the best source of. The other ways to get it, and we're gonna show you some, a video that talks about that after we come back from our first place pony and our coffee break. Well, you know, we're ready for the first place pony. Lasha Journey is like, don't even, no, no milk for me. She doesn't even drink any. She's like, if it doesn't grow out of the ground or come in its natural state, she tries to eat the foods as close to their whole state as possible rather than processing them in any way. Because we know that the processed food and the ultra processed food is so related to so many things. Let's do it, Corey. The horses are all saddled up. Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run for the blind guy, his wife, their life live. First place Pony Derby. All the jockeys are mounted and in position. Laquita Marie. Yes. What do you say when all the men are hanging out at the beach and then Lash's journey walks by wearing a bikini? Ooh, I don't know if y'all seen Lash's since she uh, transformed, but hey, and they're off. <laughs> All right, the coach Mary Ma, Danique Anthony, coach Miss Trish, TWP Popcorn, Indiana Backyard Gardener, David Hunt, Danique Anthony, coach Mary Ma, Miss Trish, David Hunt, TWP. Hey, he's always winning. That's, he was first in the chat. Now he's won first place pony. Wow, TWP Popcorn is always winning. Rambo Greenhands, you better get over there to uh, TWP, get some of that uh, win on. Because Rambo's won before, right? I yeah. think. No, no, Rambo, but it hasn't, it's it been hasn't a while, been, right? It hasn't been the first place coming. He's won <laughs> uh, some other things, but he can't get Jack Proof to come here first and save his life. Uh, I know. At least Indiana Backyard Gardener is congratulating TWP Popcorn. You know, no over is salty saying, this ain't right. Just bring a little salt on yourself. <laughs> uh, TWP Popcorn says, and another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no ogre. I didn't even see my name. I didn't either. I did, but I didn't say it. Let me say that. I did. Coach Mary Ma is proud of TWP Popcorn. Coach Mary Ma is so amazing. Her channel is growing. And she is such a, ah, oh, let me say this. As a person from Cameroon, I feel like all the Africans, they just kind of have this insight. They know stuff. So the nice thing is Coach Mary Ma doesn't hold back. She's such a person that celebrates others. And so she's celebrating you today, TWP Popcorn. No okra is saying congratulations. So he's halfway there. And of course, Coach Mary Ma is greeting Rambo. How do we get into this coffee break? Because we only got about eight minutes left, y'all, before we welcome you to the weekend. This broadcast is powered by StreamYard and my viewers support by members like you. you. And you can also be down with the Blind Guy's Wife Their Life home team by going to blindguyhiswife.com where you can click the green coffee cup and become a sponsor, just like these folks that we're about to celebrate right now. All right, I'll this click the green coffee cup. You can see that widget opens right there. That's how you can support this production. Get one coffee, three coffee, five coffees. Of course, uh, you can put in 20. This is how I ended up at the Trap House, y'all. I was I was helping the Jay Jordan with his Buy Me a Coffee, which is, by the way, a full-fledged website. And he's got some amazing things that he's added. And y'all, you can buy us a coffee, but you don't have to. You can just start your coffee page from ours and the platform will buy you a coffee. It'll buy us a coffee. That's how amazing it is. This broadcast was, taught, was brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsors. Yes, these sponsors make it happen, y'all. So if you are on our website, blindguyhiswife.com, which is scrolling at the bottom of the screen, that is how you get to the sponsors. Right underneath that coffee section where you can buy us a coffee, you can just go right there to the video. There's a button that says, Click to become a sponsor. So thank you, sponsors. Supreme Sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, Hollywood Cut. 
program sponsor, Private School in California. Supreme Sponsor, Mount Zion AME Church. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All right, y'all. All All right. Well, guys, we've been talking about the magnificent milk myths in the NFL getting a flag on the plate thanks to a Washington Commanders article that showed how the Washington Commanders football team, American football team, was teaming up with the American Dairy Association of the Northeast to promote drinking milk and eating dairy products to get vitamin D and calcium as part of National uh, Nutrition Month and also uh, na- the National Week, uh, School National School Breakfast Week, Breakfast in the School Week as part of this, this March Madness that's been going on. And you know, since- Lash's journey did say she doesn't drink milk. And of course, uh, she doesn't drink any kind. We did ask you all, what kinds of milks are you drinking? Almond milk, oat milk, uh, so, you know, she did say get out into the sunshine. Let's talk about supplements and sunshine. Let's talk about that. Because Indiana yeah. Backyard Gardener says she does take supplements. In the chat, let me ask you this question. Is vitamin D really a vitamin? And you can type the answer, true or false. Vitamin D is a vitamin, true or false. Vitamin D is a vitamin. Type that in the chat, true or false. While we answer this, one of the best ways to get vitamin D is, again, to go out and enjoy the sunshine. Yes, you can take supplements, but vitamin D is actually made when the sunlight interacts with our skin. Now you can get Master Herbalist of Yaki Awakening says there are some, diff- there are different mushrooms that you can't eat that can help boost your vitamin D. But one of the best ways is to- And y'all, not just, master, not just Master Yaki Awakening. Y'all know we talk about him because he is a master. Uh, he's healed so many people. So yeah, he brings receipts, right? He's got the proof, but there are so many others Google it, YouTube it, mushrooms and vitamin D. It's a real thing. So again, with that being said, the actual supplements, yeah, you can eat, yeah, of course you can take the supplements. We're not, you know, that can be good, especially in the winter months when you might not be getting outdoors and exposed to sunshine on a regular basis, but you can actually get it also from eating certain mushrooms like we just talked about. But the one of the best ways, sunshine. Get out in the sun, expose your body. Well, Indiana Backyard Gardener says we don't get enough sun. And what was your question? Because Rambo says false. Miss Trish says yes. Is vitamin D, vitamin D is actually a vitamin. So Miss Trish says yes, it is a vitamin, but Rambo says false. It's not a vitamin. Rambo Mm. Green Hands, you are correct. And you know, Urban Garden Chronicles then came out of the bushes talking about, I'm in the bushes listening, (laughs) but you out of the bushes talking. Hey, Urban, so good to see you. I'm always lurking on your Saturday morning chats as well. Vitamin D is actually a hormone that's produced within our skin, the melanin cells (laughs) in our skin, and it's activated when it hits the sun, when sunlight hits it. Oh, Miss Trish says yes for the pill, uh, I guess for the vitamin D pills. So yes, horm- yeah. so vitamin D is not actually a vitamin, it's a hormone that, and it helps with not just your bone health, but it helps with energy, it helps with uh, fighting diabetes, all sorts of things. And it also helps with the um, conversion of calcium into a useful form when you actually do consume it from the right places. And the right places would be green leafy vegetables. Y'all know we're always leading you right back to home, right? So of course, faves, get your fruits and vegetables every spread not just at breakfast, not just at lunch, not just at dinner, but every time you eat, make sure you have some fruits, make sure you have some vegetables, either or add those in. Because of course, TWP Popcorn is in here shouting people out. He likes to get his green herbs in in different ways, but (laughs) y'all try to get them in their whole form, okay? Their whole form, like spinach, collards, even eating tofu. Tofu is a great way to get some calcium in as well. Well, you know what? Don't you talk about tofu. And I say that because it's good for calcium, but it's not good as a fruit or vegetable. Because you know how when you say, what vegetable or fruit have you eaten? People say, let's see, I had chicken. So if we're talking about fruits and vegetables, don't even mention tofu because people will get off track. But it is a great way to add to cal- add to your fruits and vegetables. Like mm-hmm. when you do your uh, pastas and your um, and your different dishes, we have the spinach or we have the broccoli or we have the collards. But then we'll add some tofu in there for some texture. So well, Indiana backyard gardener, on she loves kale salad. And Gail at night is reminding people to head on over to plantbasedtreats.org. So this way, if you're trying to figure out uh, what are some recipes, what do I have to do, how do I do this thing, head on over to plantbasedtreats.org. Now, don't just listen to us. 
do your own research mm -hmm. and go to our in the video description there's a link for public for the examining live by physicians committee for responsible medicine where the weight loss champion himself chuck carroll interviews dr jim loomis from the documentary game changers and if you start at 158 we got the timestamp in the actual description you can click on that and watch what dr loomis says is a great a great recommendations for getting vitamin d and calcium but you can also listen to the whole uh podcast and understand why milk dairy milk from cows can be a problem for osteoporosis cancer asthma allergies the bubble guts all those things happening with allergic reactions to dairy and i did drop the link to the video for today that i showed you all milk myths debunked it's just a one minute video so global green book is all about the fruits and vegetables she was like i just wanted to stop in and say hello i'll catch the replay no replay needed we are finishing up with our magical milkshake as our plant-based treat because of course Gaelic Knight has already told you all where to go blindguystories.com forward slash faves f-a-v-e-s for fruits and vegetables every spread uh you can go there get a meal plan get some tips on eating out get some tips on just everyday incorporating fruits and vegetables at every spread and don't forget if you want to know when, uh, when we go live or we have giveaways or other events text the home team to 757-231-3949 that's 757-231-3949 text the home team to 757-231-3949 that's it just do that right there and let's see we do have to get into our plant Face treat because we're of not course, vigilantes. we're not fruit hoodlums. We're not the plate popo, mealtime marine, or summertime security guards. We're just plate advisors, as Molly would call us. And so now, getting you to get your fruits and vegetables in every, every spread, spread, it's time for today's plant based treat by Chef Lo Queen Marie. All right, y'all, magical milkshakes on the way. Magical milkshakes. This is the way to make a shake that you don't have to thicken with bananas or ice. Those things are optional. The main ingredients are plant-based milk, phonio, ground ginger, ground nutmeg, and the flexible ingredients are bananas, sugar, plant-based yogurt, nuts, ground cardamom, and ground cinnamon. The main thickener that we're using here is food. It's actually phonio. Phonio is an ancient grain, great source of protein and fiber, and often recommended for people with celiac disease, diabetes, and gluten sensitivities. All right, we'll get started with the phonio. You can order phonio at keenpia.com adding some of the spices. I've got some ground ginger. Ginger is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antiviral. It helps break up and expel gas. It's a popular home remedy for nausea and stomach pain. Maybe like a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg helps the quality of sleep and helps you stay asleep. It's a rich source of antioxidants which help protect against signs of aging, cancer, heart disease, and liver disease. I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of the cardamom. Cardamom is an antimicrobial that helps with metabolic syndrome and diabetes, heart and oral health, and liver health. You can add cinnamon. I'll put a half teaspoon of cinnamon in. Cinnamon! I'm going to make two blends, one with bananas, one without. Add two bananas, it's optional. If you don't have allergies, definitely add the nuts. Harvard recently did a study suggesting that eating too few nuts and seeds is associated with increased risk of dying from heart disease or diabetes. I'm gonna add some plant-based milk. I'm using almond milk. Blend and serve. Add sugar to taste or not. The green one was the banana one, so it yeah. was more sweet. I like that. But one. the blue one did not have the banana, and it tastes more like eggnog because you can taste the spices. Eggnog is like super good, and the blue one tastes like a lot like eggnog because you can taste the spices. I like bananas, and of course, I like pecans and walnuts, so it really just like was really good. All right, y'all. Oh, Gail right. is reminding you get your 30 day. Free pro Canva trial, blindguystories.com forward slash Canva, because all of our thumbnails, all of our thumbnails are AI generated. So we mentioned ginger in this recipe. Y'all, yesterday we had, uh, we were in your area, Global Green Book. We had uh, sushi. sushi. It was from a place called uh, Vegan, I mean, sushi, but like vegan, mm -hmm. <laughs> right up there in the, in D.C. So it was so amazing. Uh, came with ginger, of course. Y'all get your fruits and vegetables every day. Make sure you use Canva if you're looking for productivity. But we've got to welcome you to the weekend because we are done with the 30 minutes, the best 30 minutes of your day. 
And don't forget, don't get a flag like on the play like the NFL does for this uh, American Dairy Association campaign promoting drinking milk. And when it's already been proven by fit, scientific research, that milk does not do the body good. It causes all sorts of allergic reactions. It causes all sorts of problems with asthma, osteoporosis, cancer. So let's not promote these items to our children because like Laquita Marie said, for most of us, we're already over halfway done. Yeah, and look, this- Coach Mary Ma says sushi and vegan because I used her as, the, as an example for that almost already almost halfway done yes we had a uh i used to always eat the eel roll and they had an eel roll that was not eel but it had the sauce like the eel roll of course we had a cucumber roll and avocado roll and then there was another one that we got um it was sort of like a dragon roll it had some crispies or something on it the sauce love and live show let me tell you they got vegan sushi so there's everything out here for you there was a uh, purple cabbage in there. There was an explosion of colors, which means you're going to get all those <laughs> phytophenols and all the good nutrients, vitamins. So phytophenol. Uh, phytophenols are all the good nutrients. So those are your vitamins, your minerals, all of the, also, those are all of the scientific words you can't say <laughs> when you're looking at like the, 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 let's just say if you're talking about your body and you're like, okay, that's the cell. And then in the cell, that's the mitochondria. And that's the power station that fuels, that works off of glyphase. And it's like, wait, what, who? So all of the phytophenols are the things that give your food color. It gives you those nutrients and all those good things. And we got it. Yep. And sushi, that was vegan yesterday. So good, y'all. Get your, it's good, y'all. So get your fruits and vegetables every spread, however you can get them. And with that being said, we're not trying to convert anybody to do anything. We're nope. trying to give you the information so that you can make your own decisions. Because Gail at night put in blindguystories.com forward slash meal plan. We already got you. It's right there. All right. With that being said, we have counted you down to another weekend from hump day. Bang! 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 To Friday. That's Wednesday. Thursday. Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget, please text the words the, the home team, team to seven five seven two three one three nine four nine that's it oh that's- you know what coach mary ma is saying interesting and david hunt does have one last question do almond covered chocolate count as vegetables it, almond covered chocolate and chocolate covered almond. I, I knew what he meant but either way <laughs> we did have uh chocolate covered goji berries yesterday and they weren't milk chocolate they were dark chocolate and that does i think because they were berries that's a fruit but almonds, nuts, and seeds are good for you. And you all saw that in that video, they said not eating enough nuts and seeds can uh, hurt your heart. So go for it, David Hunt. Almonds are a good food for you. Elia made magic mashed potatoes. Mm. Hey, Elia. That's it. Magic mashed potatoes, y'all. Who is another Nigerian? Yes, Elia is Nigerian as well. And y'all subscribe to TWP Popcorn. He'll show you how to get your recreational stuff going, but Elia has made magic mashed potatoes where you add your potatoes, your root vegetables, you boil them together. Like when you're making mashed potatoes, instead of just boiling the potatoes, you can boil your rutabaga, you can boil a parsnip in there, just white and yellow vegetables. You can even add yellow squash. Mash them up, season it. It's still mashed potatoes. It's just got a few more nutrients in there. And you don't have to add the milk in it like some people do for that. You can always use other types of milk as well for thickeners as well. So mm-hmm. definitely get your fruits and vegetables in every spread. You got it, DJ try to, is. Try to avoid the dairy if you can. But like I said, we're not trying to convert you to anything. We just want to give you the information so that you don't get a flag on the play of life when it comes to your health, when it comes to making decisions on what you put into your body and how it affects what you're doing. So we got to go Corey. i've got my roll java here from rolljava.com our brand of coffee how do we say goodbye we're gonna say goodbye the same way lash's journey would say goodbye to a good tall glass of cold milk <laughs> she would say deuces <laughs> deuces